What's up YouTube? Hey guys, this is Tekimoto back with another video. Now in this video, I am gonna tell you about, rather give you an in-depth review about Azel screen recorder. Now you must be thinking, right? Wait a second, dude, you just said Mobizen was the best screen recorder. Now why you are telling Azel screen recorder? So, I'll tell you one thing guys. When I made my top 5 uh, countdown, there I had said the top 3 were all good and I would be just nitpicking the minute differences. Now Movizen was top in the video and AZ was second. Now I will just say I use both of them because of the reason that the features which are available, few features which are available in Movizen are not there in uh, AZ screen recorder and few features which are there in AZ screen recorder are not there in Mo Mobizen. So according to the need of my video, the type of video I am making or the features which I need to record in a particular video, I use any of the screen recorder. So without much further ado, let's begin with the video. Okay guys, so let's see how AZ recorder works. When I type on AZ recorder, a bubble pops up here. When I type on, tap on the bubble, you see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 more bubbles. The first one is for settings, which is the gear symbol. Second one is to take a screenshot. Third one is for recording, start to start your recording. The fourth one is to access the uh, uh, your saved recordings and screenshots and uh, the fifth one is to close the bubble okay so let's go to settings right now and see what all options do we have <coughs> now the first one you see controller type now here there are two options bubble and bar if i click on bar bubble is presently active the one you see saw right now was bubble if I change to bar, now you will see a bar is appearing with the first option being for recording the screen, second one for sc screenshot, third one for settings, fourth one for access your saved um, recordings and screenshots, the last one is to close your bar. I like the bubble one so I will switch back to bubble. Now the second option is encoder. Here when I click on it you see two options, advanced and default. The advanced one, if you click on it, it supports pause. That means you can pause the video in between while recording your screen. The default one is more stable but it does not support pause feature. Now the next one is magic button. Now this is a pro version feature only. So you have to buy the pro version to use it. Basically what it does is it creates an invisible button near the time in the top right hand corner you won't be able to see the button but it could be there when you tap on that part it will start the recording when you will double tap on it it will stop the recording while in the recording menu while the recording is going on if you tap do single tap it will pause it and if you long tap it press it for a longer time it will start uh, the option for drawing anything on the screen and to cancel that option again you have to long press it so that's basically the use of magic button now the next one is stop actions now how do you stop your recording there are five options you can see here i have only selected the stop by notification <coughs> now if you uh, select the show red dot that uh, small red dot will appear in the uh, uh, bottom right of the screen which you can tap to start or stop your recording and uh, the third one is to when you lock the screen it will stop your recording and fourth one is when you shake your device it will stop the recording and the fifth one is you uh, set up predefined time limit after which the recording will automatically stop Okay, the next one is basic uh, video configuration which is the resolution that you can set. You can do a custom setup 
you can increase from um, 426 into 240 426 by 240 to to 192 1920 cross 1080p which is full HD frames per second is basically the number of frames you have in one second the higher the frames per second it is used to uh, basically to record slow motion videos so uh, when you go into the editor uh, editing software you can reduce the speed of the frames and thus giving you slow motions the bitrate is the quality of the video that you make if you increase to 12 mps you will have better clarity and if you decrease to 1 mps you have lesser clarity and basically the file size will also increase with the increase in bitrate now orientation you can select landscape or portrait or you can have automatic mode right now i am at auto mode it will decide basically by itself whether it should be in landscape or portrait if you have the landscape mode it is basically used for gamers gamers use landscape mode and portrait which i am using right now is for tutorial videos mostly not time lapse you can do time lapse in the app itself see if you increase the uh, if you go from 1.5 x 2 x 3 x the speed will increase and if you go to 2 by 3 1 by 2 1 by 3 that is basically time lapse now you obviously you want to record your audio so you have to enable this microphone and if you don't want to record your audio you can disable it now this is this feature overlay information this is the one of the best feature which i like text and logo overlay. now when i enable show text you will see on the bottom right now you can see techie moto appearing now you can edit this one to anything you want if i will edit it to techie only you can see only techie you can change the color suppose i want to keep it at green i will to go to green that will tap on green you see it's not green you can increase and decrease the transparency so i will make it more transparent now you can see it is a little bit more transparent you can select a background color also suppose i want to keep a maroon background now you can see a background appearing you can change the font also yeah you can see now the font has changed yeah, let me do this so that you can see it better yeah and uh, you can see the increase or decrease the size of the text suppose i go to 30 and you can see it has increased now if i decrease it to 10 you can see it's very small now so you can adjust according to your preference now show logo is another option you have this default logo over here of android you can select any image you want as logo from your gallery and you can increase or decrease the size of the logo suppose i do it 7 percent you see it is so small right now if i do it 21 percent it's very big so you can do it according to your preference and you can place it anywhere you want and it will lie as an overlay in the entire recording which is really good to promote your channel logo or your channel name okay now the next one is show touches now basically it shows a small round white dot i like touch on anything this feature is very handy for to making tutorial videos because they need to show where they are touching exactly so that they can teach the uh, viewers can easily see what the uh, person making tutorial is exactly doing and where he is tapping on but the gamers don't really need that one now show camera this is again a pro feature you can't really use it in the free version now camera settings is for basically the face cam which again you can't use since it's a pro version feature the next one is timer so now if you enable this option a timer will show in your entire recording and it will show how much length of the what is the length of the video that you have recorded till now and you can change the placement of the timer anywhere you want okay now the next one is countdown before start now this is basically when you click on start recording it will start a countdown after which the recording will start now i have kept it at three seconds because i like it that way you can increase it to any value you want or you can even disable it 
so that when you tap on recording it will immediately start recording and you can change the uh, save video uh, location of the file where it will be saved it is internal storage or external storage external sd card where you want to store it depends where you like to store it now that was all about the settings now if you go into the file which i can access from here or would i have been ex- able to access it from the tab the middle one sorry is for videos now if i tap on this three double uh, three triple dot over here you'll see four options delete it rename you can share it from here and the last one is very handy it can compress it if i tap on it you will see two options you can uh, the bottom one is for reducing bitrate which will decrease the quality of the video top one is for reducing resolution and it will automatically determine what bitrate it can support see if i am decreasing the resolution the bitrate is automatically decreasing and if you tap on compress it will compress the file and give you a good result according to the file size you need if i tap on this magic wand button it will open the editing window <coughs> now in this editing window trimming and cutting is a pro feature now what you can do here is merge videos if you have two videos uh, and you want to merge them and uh, use it as a single video you have taken different clips and you can merge it over here directly you can add text either you can do te- add text in the uh, overlay or you can add text to give some extra information to your viewers which you would you which you have forgotten to tell while recording the video now the next one is sticker it's the same like uh popping in some like uh, picture in between the video to make it look more attractive you can crop the video also decrease the size of the screen now gif is a, again a pro feature you can edit the audio you can extract frames from anywhere within the video this is which is basically like taking a screenshot of the video now if i go to the screenshots you basically have only one feature over here that is to crop it you can select a custom free chopper or cropping tool or you can uh, select a perfect square which is used for profile pictures you can have a free circle or you can have a perfect circle with a ratio 1 is to 1 so basically that's it that you can do and if you tap on crop it will crop the picture so that's all for today i hope you liked the video and if you did please hit that thumbs up it turns glue you know when you click on it try doing it and if you want to watch such more videos do hit that subscribe button the red one yeah and if you have any suggestions for me or you want me to make any particular type of video that you need then please do comment in the comment section down below and do share this video with your friends guys that's all for today thank you do like comment share subscribe bye bye